Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and welcome to another perfect start guide for Mumbai. Now these guides are designed so that if you watch them before going to a mission, you'll be able to get a very good idea of where all the essential gear is to customize that perfect freelancer kill. Now Mumbai is a pretty big map with several distinct zones including the movie tower, the train yard and the crow's hangout and sewers. Where you're going to go depends on where your target is but for the purposes of this guide we're going to travel counterclockwise through the map starting in the movie tower and ending up in the rooftops. So we started off here in the street. The first thing I do is head towards the chawl or the apartment complex which is going to come up on our right. There's usually a little shop here on the left which I stop by to grab a coin. Now the chawl or the apartment complex I always consider to be the center of the map where you can go to any location from. But in this example we're going to head to the movie tower which is on the left of the apartment complex. So just follow the main road and head all the way to the end. You're going to have this little tunnel thing here which is going to take you to the construction site. Right next to it is a hole in the fence you're going to jump over. Right now you're on the construction site, you're going to head for this ladder which at the top of it is going to give you access to the movie studio tower. Now you're just going to scale these structures on the outside all the way to the top floor. As you can see they're pretty easy to grab onto and you shouldn't get seen while you're doing this. So turn your instinct on just before you get to the top. Sometimes there's a guard patrolling really close here but most of the time you should be safe. So keep using your instinct to make sure the coast is clear and if it is, you're just going to head straight for the guard who is near the other end of this floor. As you see here, this should be a pretty safe guard to take down and this is going to give you the Bollywood bodyguard disguise and that disguise is going to let you get around all of the tower. So you can just hide the body right here in this crate, get the disguise. This guy is going to have the Dax X2 submachine gun which you can collect for your safe house. Right outside this door is another guard here which you need to take down because he is having the key card which will allow you to get into the security room. You can also grab the Fusil G1 assault rifle if you want. There's a fire extinguisher there. Head up to the top floor where you're going to have a propane flask you can grab and the second collectible for your safe house, the baseball bat. Now like I said, you can do what you want in the tower at this point. If you have targets here, go ahead and take them out. If you want to get the HX-10 submachine gun, you can do that as well. I'm showing you how you can use the elevator shaft to get around the building rather than the stairs. You're going to get off at the second floor here where the security office is. Use that key card which you got to gain access. Grab the coins off the desk right next to you. And here timing is important because you need this other guy to go down the stairs and this guy to be looking at the screens and it's a safe time to destroy the surveillance. If you don't have a keycard, you can grab it from this room too. Again, if you have targets here, go ahead and take care of them. If you want the HX-10 submachine gun or the Fusil G1 assault rifle, feel free to take down guards to grab them. But here we are heading back across the street to the Chawl or the apartment complex. We're going to head in and go straight up to the second floor. At the top of the stairs here, you're going to have a dartboard on the right where there's a folding knife um, stuck to it. But be very careful, if you're not wearing an enforcer disguise, you're going to get spotted by those two people there. There's a better folding knife later in this level which I recommend grabbing if you are not in disguise. There's a rusty crowbar here you can grab if you don't have a lockpick. Once you're coming out of this room, you're going to head for this blue door and at the top of the stairs is going to be the Kashmirian and right next to him is the Batali Woodsman Sniper Rifle. You can't zoom in with it, it's unsilenced but it's still a collectible for your safe house so worth smuggling out if you don't have one. Now you're going to exit the apartment from the back door and you're going to head up this yellow overhead bridge. At the top of it are guards to the laundry area. You're going to shimmy down the side and get behind them. Even if these guards down there see you they won't do anything because this is not a hostile um, territory. Once you get up off the ledge it runs straight and grab the coins off the table and here is that safe folding knife which I told you about. Grabbing that, you want to avoid the foreman's office and go down this other set of stairs to the laundry area. Just run all the way around the laundry area. Make sure you have your instinct on during this part because the foreman and sometimes a random guy will be walking around. This next part here, I almost got caught so I was forced to switch disguises. You do not need to do this. You can grab the emetic rat poison which is coming up on your left here and you would exit this area at this point. 
but because I almost got caught, I was forced to just turn around this corner really quickly and grab the outdoor guard this guys. You can do this if you're in a tight spot. Just remember where it is. Maybe practice this in the base game because that particular disguise is in a place where the guards have a hard time seeing you and it's easy to switch into. So here I ran into the train yard wearing the outdoor guard disguise. You're going to go up the overhead bridge right at the edge. And at the end of this walkway, you're going to find propane. And um, right next to it is the railway track lever, which you can use to divert the railway. Now, just off the bottom of the stairs is a rake, which you can grab for some fun takedowns. Coming right around the yellow bridge, you're going to see this rail car where this elite guard is waiting. Go in there and draw him into the rail car. You do not need to use the rake. You can use any method you want. Knock him out in this rail car and hide his body in the closet. This is going to give you the Queen's Indoor Guard Disguise, which is one of the strongest disguises in this map. You can grab the Tactical Bartoli for your safe house if you don't have one. Now, you can go from here straight into the train palace if you want, or you can run on the outside here towards the rail car in the distance, but I'm just going to show you running through the sewer. You want to get to the end of the sewer, which will take you to this rail car here, which has a crowbar inside. Now, again, you don't need to do this if you already have a lockpick, but if you bust this door with your fake crowbar, you're going to be rewarded with the real crowbar on a crate inside. Once you have this, you can head around the left here, which will take you to the other entrance to the train palace. Now you should be able to head down the left side here to this door which you can again break with a crowbar and don't worry about the woman you will not get uh, your cover blown and now you're inside the train palace you can head all the way up to the top floor if you want second floor if you have a target in here this is the time to take care of that target here i'm showing you just going up to the roof of the train palace there's a little um, shed like structure out here again you can either break the door or use the other side which is not locked there is another train lever in here which you can take and on a barrel right outside is a wrench now do whatever you need to do at the train station and when you're ready you're gonna head out just go down the way you came and on the other end of the same side of the building you're gonna have a window you can jump out of and I usually stay on the same side of the palace for entry and exit I tend not to run back and forth once you're out of the train palace you're gonna head to the train yard here where you're gonna see these two guys sitting there Right next to them is a platform where there is a rusty crowbar you can grab. Here I'm showing you where to put the train track lever if you want to divert the train. If you have a target in the train palace or if you want to have fun. Run past these two guys here and this lorry. You're going to head for the smelting hut which is coming up. Inside you're going to find a wrench next to one of the pots. And once you exit this building, take a sharp right. And there's going to be a pile of garbage with a propane tank there for you to grab. Now I'm just going to cut away briefly, you're going to run down this street but on the left side here there is a ladder and if you have a silenced pistol you can actually shoot this ladder down which will actually allow you to get to the rooftops really quickly if you need to. But now we're going to just continue down the street and you're going to get to this beach where these two guys are fishing and right next to them is the baseball bat. If you didn't grab it from the tower you can grab it now. You're going to head to this building right next to the beach and turn the generator off. This is a crow thug hangout and you want to get the disguise here to access the sewers. I quickly tend to turn off and then turn on again so that, you know, guards don't keep coming out. Switch into the crow thug disguise. It's safe to leave the body here. If you have a lockpick, you can pick that ground floor door. But if you don't, then you need to use the crowbar on the second floor door so that this guard doesn't come out and find the body. You're going to ignore this guy and you can just head straight down into the sewers. Now the sewers is a secret network which leads to the crow back alley. You're just going to follow this pathing path here to grab the hideout key from this room in the middle, being careful to avoid the guards. There's a lot of enforcers down here. Make your way all the way around, use the map. There's only one entry and one exit. On the other side of this uh, corridor, you're going to have the stairs which is going to lead up to the crow back alley. And from here, just use your instinct to make sure the coast is clear and you should be able to get to a staircase which will lead to the roof. And that's it guys, that's Mumbai. You're a creepy fuck around you. Um, okay. Anyway, any of these routes should give you access to multiple targets. Now let's say you start in the boat or the pier area. As soon as you start, take a right. You're gonna immediately be at the beach with a baseball bat. Go ahead and get the tug disguise and you know what to do from there. If you started in the train yard, you're gonna head straight for the train palace. There is a rusted 
train car you're going to jump onto and down and you have this loan guard here by that entrance we used in the other playthrough go ahead and knock him out grab the outdoor guard these guys enter the crowbar train car and grab your crowbar and you're good to go you can access the crow's hideout from street level by getting down to the sewers and into the tunnel like i'm showing you here but be warned that this route is guarded now that was a bit of a long one but now you know all the essential items in all the important areas customize your own path depending on where the targets are just remember you're awesome and you got this Do remember to like and subscribe for more great guides. Take care and we'll see you next time.